Hello, so in this video, I'd like to explore the table view a little bit more of this, of this shape file. So I'm going to go ahead and go to properties and, uh, and that's going to give me the layer properties at the very top. The information is going to tell me, um, is this is a, a bit like printing to console where you get the name. This is telling me where the file lives on my, um, on my locally, on from my, you know, on my volumes, Lemu. Tells me the size, when it was last modified. Get a bunch of kind of data about the data. So it's called metadata, coordinate reference system, that kind of stuff. Um, the source is going to allow me to change the name here if I wanted to kind of change the layer name from hello shape file to hello shape file. And so the layer name is just a label um, that, if I hit apply, now appears here. Um, so the labels can have um, spaces. Um, and so all you're doing here is uh, is affecting the appearance of uh, things in your in your legend here of layers. Um, symbology, I'm not going to worry about. I want to skip to fields. And so fields is basically giving us a view of the of the data schema. So it's the it's a definition of in this case that we have um, a table that consists of right now one um, column. Right, it's a little bit weird because the data schema is like looking at the a table that's lying on its side. So this is telling us that we have a, a column um, called uh, ID, and it is uh, the data type is an integer, and uh, and then it's set up to allow um, ten digits long as the uh, as the ID length. And so let's go ahead and add another column or in um, Unfortunately, I think it's going to be called adding a field, but I'm going to switch to the toggle view and then I can hover here and it says new field. And again, this is not, doesn't have anything to do with objects and fields. It just means that we're going to create a new column in this table. And I'm going to say, yeah, please do that. And this is going to be just the name of the, the kind of the geographic name of that. I'm just going to you know, make up for this pond and uh, because it actually doesn't have a name. Um, so I'm going to, kind of name it because I'm a cartographer and uh, and then I'm going to give it a hundred which means that the name can have up to a hundred characters long it's um, our care our the name I'm going to give it doesn't need that it could be 50 it probably could be a little bit um, lower than that but this is just trying to kind of gauge how much space do you need to uh, to uh, to store this uh, this name and so 50 would work um, 100 would be pretty safe and so um, this is not the stakes are pretty low here so I'll just say 100 right so what I've just done is kind of um, added to the schema right I've created a new column it's called name um, it's the uh, this is kind of its index it's going to be the the second kind of uh, column um, whereas that one's the first and the index often starts with zero um, the name is name because it's place name, um, it's going to take a string and and so forth. Um, so if I say apply and OK, and I have a tendency to do both of those, um, you'll see that we're in editing mode over here. Um, and uh, let me just cancel that for a second. If I if I um, if I go back to properties, and now if I have all that, if I toggle off here, do you want to save the changes to the layers? And I'm going to say yes. So I'm now committing this new column to the uh, to the um, shape file, and so it's now it's no longer in editing mode over here because I kind of closed that deal in the other um, panel. So now if I open up the attribute table, I'm going to right click and then go to open attribute table. You'll see that we have another kind of opportunity. We have a we've kind of grown our table by a, a column, and so I'd like to kind of edit here. And I'm going to click on this column and I'm going to say, I'd like this pond to be called Hello Pond. And uh, I'm going to move this over just because uh, I, I feel like I'd like to make sure I see it. And if I hit return, um, it should be good. And then I go to here and I just want to save the edits. So I've now saved the edits. And if I click on this, I will toggle out of the editing. And I have now clicked my way through adding a name to this um, if I open up the attribute table, there it is, Hello Pond.
Is that okay? So it's just a, basically what we did is just explore the the table view a little bit more of this feature and uh, see how that we could add a column to it. And that column was going to be storing the place name for this thing. And uh, that's about all I wanted you to show you here. So I'm going to save the project and uh, move on to the next video.